students, it's been so long here with this technology. See, what they did is the last hundred years we've had so much technology come here that has taken people off their spiritual path. Like I said, every 2,000 years we have the ascension time coming. This is what we're going through right, right now, okay? And you're saying that they could help, but that it's up to us to help you? Is that, uh, that's no, not what no, you're saying. No. What are you it's, saying? It, what I'm saying is that if we, had, we didn't have mind control here, then we could help ourselves, okay? And so what you're doing is mm -hmm. you're, you're saying that, that, mm -hmm. you know, that I'm trying to help myself through my mind, which is controlled by these off-planet negative ETs that are soulless beings, okay? Mm -hmm. And these soulless beings yep. have you all conditioned. Yep. It's very, very frustrating. So what's for the me. key? What's the answer? What, here? What's the key? Yeah, the heart. <laughs> well, eventually, what will happen is, uh, we'll, we'll, the, the Galactic Federation is here, supposed to be here, to help us 100% with our spiritual development here. Mm -hmm. That's why they're in place. Okay, they talk about ET abductions. I've worked with lots of people, especially women who've had their eggs taken. They go through a pregnancy for about a month and a half. They have the morning sickness when the fetus is taken out of them. I have people that I deal with who can't sleep in their bed at night and they have to go in their car and move the car every two blocks for every probably 15 minutes to a half an hour because they're tagged, okay? And the whole thing is, is that if, if the Federation was an integrity, right now we have 40% light on this planet. When I started my mission over two and a half years ago, there was 20% light. Very, very good, okay? But it's a race now. We have ascension happening here, and we have the, the, the Federation, or your Space Brothers, okay? Yeah. Are they going to come into the light like yourselves, okay? Are they going to prevent these negative ETs from coming here? Okay, I've been through a lot of different conferences. Are you all aware that in about, uh, maybe Mr. Bell does, uh, in the 70s, NATO commissioned and, and sent up through our space shuttles, and this is public knowledge on the internet, uh, by, uh, it was called the Orion-class nuclear-powered spacecraft, okay? I think there was maybe five to seven of these out there to actually come and fight warfare, aliens, that were coming to our planet here. Okay? Is this Star Wars? This is Star Wars, yeah. yes. And, and uh, if you know about it, Mr. Bell, do you know about that? Yeah, okay. Not. Okay. And, and so what you have here is, is not all these wonderful ETs are good, okay? They're screwing up the Earth here. And when they finally come into the light, when the shift either happens or the Federation comes into the light, either way, it'll be heaven on Earth here. But, but in the process, you have to get into your heart for the ascension thing. This, this, is, this is my whole gig here, okay. is to get into your heart center. Thank and, you. And, and get out of the mind. The mind's never going to help you. When the ascension time comes, the okay. mind's gone. Okay. Any comment? Or should you take well, I, I agree with him. That we always say in Tibet is the mind is a slayer of the real and the follows thought. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how it works. And, and when I talk about seven levels of consciousness, love comes from the heart. You know, you've got a hormonal system, and when the hormone goes up and releases itself into receptor sites of the brain, we define the uh, hormone system as the first unit of biochemistry that possesses consciousness. And so people, you know, this is one of the things I noticed about Cheney, because I've been around him a little bit, he, he thinks a lot, and he has no heart. He has, he's a man has no heart, he's got a pacemaker, you know. So you can see what the extreme is, you know. Yeah, yeah, so he's right on with all of that. As far as the Star Wars stuff, I worked on Star Wars back at Autonetics when I was working for SNID, and that was under NASA contract. That was in 1963, because that's when I worked on it, so. <coughs> there, are, there are some people with pacemakers who do have a heart. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not talking about that, but uh, with, with, with Cheney, there's an exception. He has no heart. You know, he might have a physical one there, but it doesn't work. Right, yeah. let, let me take a... Uh, any okay, let's take another question. Yes? Um, Ron, can you talk more about mind control? Because of what you said before, it makes a lot of sense. But I think there's so much mind control. Like when I first heard about mind control, I thought, well, I'm not really being controlled. But can you talk more about as far as how we really are being conditioned and are, we are really being controlled? You're, you're being mind controlled, okay? I mean, so when you're in time, you're being mind controlled because of the mind. So the only way to be in your own divinity is to be in your spirit, in your heart center. And then time stops for you. And anything else is the mind. The mind's the trap. This is why they always say to go inside. 
drop your conscious down to your heart center. And this is the whole thing. But the mind control here is just just bizarre because people can't get a clear thought. Okay. And the clear thought is what you have to have. And you get that when time stops when you're in your heart center. And